Today I'm going to show you a few ways the new feature of the undo redo function in the B editor can really come in handy. So here's one. Say you're working from this template that we have available um, and you want to replace this image. So you might decide to delete it, see how it looks without one, decide you're going to bring in your own image. You can find your own from your file manager or maybe you're going to search um, for our free images from the stock stock image library and um, let's say you want to try this one insert it and maybe you're not so happy with how that looks um, what you can do is come down here and there's a timeline. You can hit undo a few times or you can open the timeline and go all the way back to either when the image was deleted and you can start over again or you can go right back to the beginning and say, you know, I actually like this one better. The undo feature can be used for really anything, um, including text formatting. So say you make these updates and again want to undo them, um, maybe you want to start over or go back to where you were, um, you can keep hitting this undo button or again reference the timeline. Say you're dragging in a new piece of content, um, a new row, you can quickly um, undo that as well. Maybe you dropped it in the wrong place and instead of dragging it you're just going to undo that. You can also do it if you totally deleted something and really regret that decision and want that, that row back. Simply undo and the whole row is there again. So the undo feature is really here to save your butt whenever you make a little mistake as you're designing your email. Um, this helps you be more efficient, save time, and hopefully design a beautiful email that you're really happy with.